So we're doing the My Eye Maths Rotating Shapes. Question one, describing rotations. So it says each diagram shows a shape being rotated from position A to position B. Describe each rotation fully. You can copy the diagram and do it on paper first. And that's exactly what I've done here. So I could, of course, just get a piece of tracing paper and stick uh, a pin or a pen at random places in the paper and try and get the shape to rotate to the same place. Um, that's not particularly scientific. Um, you know, you'd get there in the end doing it that way, but I'm going to do it uh, using geometrical constructions. So I'm going to start off with um, that point, for example, in the shape A and identify the corresponding point in the shape B, which would be this one up here. And I'm going to construct the perpendicular by sector between those two points. So just a, a little line between them. And then the perpendicular bisector is the line that cuts the line I've just drawn in half at 90 degrees. So compass at one end, keeping the compass the same length at the other end, trying not to slip the compass. Uh, and there it is. So those two arcs that I've just drawn meet at two points. And then if I join up those two points, then that is the perpendicular bisector of the line between the two points. That's starting to get a bit cluttered, so I'm going to rub a load of stuff out. Rub out all my construction lines and just leave me with that. I'm now going to do exactly the same thing, but for two of the other points. So, for example, that one there and then it's rotated equivalent, that one over there. So if I draw a line between those two points in the two shapes. So those are essentially the same points I've joined up in the shape and its rotated equivalent. And then I'm going to construct a perpendicular bisector of that line. So compass at one end. compass at the other end and join up where the two arcs meet like so and then I've got two lines that are separate perpendicular bisectors of corresponding points in the shape and its rotated equivalent and they meet here at the point uh, zero, one, zero across, one up. So that's telling me that my center of rotation is at zero, one. I'll just check that with my tracing paper. So stick the original shape over there, stick the pen in there for a center of rotation, try and turn it round, and it ends up in the same place. So that's all good. Uh, and then, so from A to B, it's gone 90 degrees clockwise. I can I can see that because the lines on the shapes line up with the lines on my grid. And I know that the lines on my grid are at 90 degrees to each other. So I could do a whole thing of um, drawing a line to a point and then measuring with an angle measure how much it's rotated. But I can also use the fact that my grid lines are at 90 degrees so that I can I can see that that's a 90 degree rotation. So, um, on the iMaths, the center of rotation was zero, 01, so I'll just type in zero, 01 as the center of rotation. And then the angle, uh, so I, I, I can choose between 90 clockwise, 90 anti-clockwise, or 180. So, it's gone. Um, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, actually, hasn't it? Did I say clockwise earlier? From A to B, that's going 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So I'm going to type in 90A for 90 anti-clockwise. 
Okay, on to the second shape. So I'm going to do this a little bit more quickly now. So a point there and then it's equivalent on shape B over there. So I've joined the two corresponding points. I'm now going to make a perpendicular bisector of the line I just drew. So compass at one end, compass at the other end, keeping it the same length. They meet at two points. Join up those two points like that, um, except I'm going to do that in red and rub out the rest because it's starting to get a bit cluttered. There we go. And then I'll just do the same for another two points. So, for example, this point here, and then it's rotated equivalent over there. Join those two up, and then I'm going to try and do a perpendicular bisector of those. So compass at one end, draw an arc, compass at the other end, draw an arc, join those two arcs up. And then they appear to meet here which is the point, let's just rub out some stuff here. So those two perpendicular bisectors <coughs> appear to meet here at the point, well, it's two back and one up. So it's minus two and one up, minus two, one. So I'll just fill that in on the my eye maths, minus two and one for the center of rotation. And then if I get my tracing paper again. So this time it's from A to B. So my original shape's over there. If I just stick my pencil in at where I think the center of rotation is. And then to get to B, it's gone 90 clockwise from A there to B there. That's 90 clockwise. So I'm going to type in 90C for 90 clockwise. OK, on to the last one. So um, I will do the same thing again. So I'll start with this little corner here at the right angle and then I'll join it up to the other right angle corner on shape B. I'll try and do the perpendicular bisector of that line. So get my compass right on that corner there and draw an arc and then do the same from the other end, keeping my compass the same length. And then I'll just do a red line for my perpendicular bisector. OK, so my, whoops, slip there. My center of rotation is somewhere along the red line, except for the bit where I slipped. But we don't exactly know where yet. So I'll rub out all the guidelines and then I'll do exactly the same with two of the other points so let's say this here and this over here I'll join them up and then I'll um, oh, and my daughter's just arrived I everything. all right darling I'll be back in a minute there we go okay so line between them perpendicular bisector by joining where the two arcs meet. Rub out all the construction lines because they're confusing. And I've got two perpendicular bisectors that meet down here at the point well, that's zero minus one, zero across and then one down, zero minus one. So we'll just check that that works by getting my tracing paper over there. I will stick my pencil in there where I think the center of rotation is and then just try and rotate it 90, 180 degrees to get down to there. So I'll just fill that in on the my eye maths. It's uh, a bit of all this eraser mess. 
So it's zero minus one uh, with an angle of 180 degrees. So we'll just mark that. And we've got full marks for that. 